who became so independent, very rich without a man. And that's our topic today, honoring fathers. That's our topic today, honoring fathers. Who is a father? A father is a male parent, head of the family. Mm. Biological fathers are meant or set to bring you to earth. Spiritual father are set as ladders to your future set. We have different kinds of father. Number one father is a, is a biological father biological father your father who gave birth to you with your mother and the second father we have is spiritual father your father has in faith the third father is a foster father a man who is not a biological father but he is there for you he adopted you that's what that's a foster father Spiritual father and your spiritual father are powerful. It is the value. It is the value you place on your spiritual father that determines how far you go in life. It is the value, how you place them, that takes you far. If your biological father lay a curse on you, your spiritual father can take away the curse. If your spiritual father lays a curse on you, you will go to his own father. He can remove the cause. So if your biological father cause you, your spiritual father can take away the cause. If your spiritual father now cause you, you will go to a man higher than your spiritual father to take it off. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So this is how it goes. Huh? But not all you can remove until you seek for forgiveness. That's the book of uh, in the book of Deuteronomy 5:16, Ephesians chapter 1 to 3. I'll be quick because tomorrow is Monday and Nigeria is holiday. So it is the value you place on your spiritual father that determines the virtue you draw from him. If your son, your biological son, is a man of God, and you are seeing him as a son, you will only receive a son anointing. Until you place a value, the greatness will not change it. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can't dishonor your father and live long. That's in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2. You can't, never. You can't dishonor Oye Tepo, Adeboye, David Bume, and say nothing will happen. You can't dishonor your father. And live long. It can never happen. They can't talk to you. They don't need to talk to you. It's a natural cause. It's there. That's why a lot of people today insulting Tidibu. Why insulting? He is a father. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
Honoring your father is a commandment. Ephesians 6 1. Should I tell you something? We are in a honorless generation. We are in a honorless generation. Our generation have nothing to do with honor. That's why they die like chicken. That's why they are broke. That's why they are frustrated. They know nothing about honor. This Indomit generation knows nothing about honor. If they see you honor people, they think you are stupid or you are poor. Honor people because they are ahead of you. The office you do not want, you want to attain, you must honor it. I can never want to be greater than David Biome and I sit in my nonsense apartment and began to insult him. I'm dead. Is my man not heavy? He said, that man of God is a thief. Yeah. Man of a man of God. I can't do that. It's not me to do that. I call my friend Alex. Alex, he is stupid boy, monkey, fool. <laughs> we will laugh together. Than for me to sit down and insult a man of God. Not just a man of God. Ahead of me in everything. Am I mad? Even to a mad, my madness have gauge. It has surrounding. I can never. Praise God. I will never. Tell yourself, I will never dishonor men ahead of me. We are in a honorless generation. We have people come on the internet. The only thing they have is data. They insult people that are bigger than their family. Eh? That's why I'm just waiting for someone to insult my father. I'll come for you. Our generation, this generation, does not honor father. There's no more biblical honor, lie, lie. There's no more biblical honor. That's why we're suffering. No, not me. That's why they are suffering. This generation has no biblical honor. No. The easiest way to insult a spiritual father is when you, as a child, is insulting your biological father. Are you understand what I'm saying? A man who has a father will never insult another man's father. The people you've insulted their father, that's why your own children are insulting you. What we sow, we must reap. Hmm? No more honor in the church. You see a young lady go and touch a man of God on his head and say, Papa de Papa. This head is fire. School does not teach you honor. School don't school can't teach you honor. What teaches you honor is church. Where you go to hear the word of God. That's where they teach you honor. So some of you who say, my children are not going to church. Let us stay at home. There are knowledge of God. They can't share it in the school. The school is only filled with intellectual people. But the church is filled with the knowledge. God's knowledge is greater than intellectuality. That's why the greatest gift on earth are not people who went to school, are the people who have the knowledge of God. School will only make your brain wow, in the place of intellectuality. 
but side school knowledge is power. You can go to school, become a first class degree holder. You go to lift to press what takes you up. You will never know how to do it. So teaching you is knowledge on how to do it. Because why? School is theory. Knowledge is practical. A person who didn't go to school can use the lift than you who went to school. You know why? Knowledge. He has the knowledge. Hmm? He has the knowledge. That's why God does not use the graduate. God uses a what? Coconut head. Bunta, bunta children. Hmm? Tell me one educated man God used. <laughs> God started using them when they didn't become, when they are nothing. T.B. Joshua went to seek God. Others went to school. T.P. Joshua went to seek God in the bush, in the place of fasting and prayer, and practicing what God gave to him. When every of them graduated and came out, T.P. Joshua graduated from that beginning and entered into the depth of God. Didn't you see his healing instant? His ministry was a different ballgame. And the people who went to school Said he was fake. <laughs> he said, how can I how can that kind of power? It's not from God. Hey, keep quiet. You know not everything. T.B. Joshua went to practicalize God's calling upon his life without him going to school to learn his IE. Why others went to school abroad doing masters for theology? Doing PhD for Bible schooling. <laughs> a man was seeking God for power and his anointing. And T.P. Joshua did extra mile that they didn't do. And you came out to call him fake. What makes him fake? You, you come out to speak big, big English. T.P. Joshua comes and tells you the love of Jesus. I hear the sick, raise the dead. And you, you preach all the biblical English and explain 10 ways to be anointed. We are not seeing the practical, sir. That's what knowledge is. So when people are seeking God, seek God. Don't use the time that you use to seek God and be preaching and be going to school. No, there is time for everything. Huh? Teach your children honor more than you teach them education. It is better to teach the children honor than to honor them. Don't honor your children. Teach them how to honor and God will honor them. My mother taught me how to honor people. I even knew I know now, before now, and before her, more than her. But who taught me? My mom. So teach your children how to honor from this Indomie society. Hmm? Never speak against a spiritual father. Exodus 22. You'll be reading it because of time. Never. Speak against the spiritual father. You don't like him, walk away. Don't speak against him. You are too small. He said, is it not a human being? He will judge him. You are too small to judge another man's servant. Hmm? Praise God. Exodus 20, verse 12. Ephesians 6, Chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. 
Fools don't have respect and honor. They think money is everything. Money is not everything, Mr. Man. Never. Money can't take the place of honor. Fools think money is everything. Proverb 132. Money is never everything. Hey. That's where you go to. Money is not valid. The only thing is valid is honor. Money can't do some certain things. It's honor. It was because I was honoring my papa. Pastor Charles, somebody. That was why I was able to assess a higher man in the higher realm. Because I honor him. If I was insulted, you wouldn't take me up to the middle man. Teach your children honor. Good educated without honor is a waste of education and pride. That's why I look at some ladies. You didn't go to school. But the way you live your standard is like even God did not permit if taking light. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's only fools. They think money is everything. Respect is more important than money. Money have a place to stop you. But honor can't. You can't be stopped. Stop judging fathers. Stop judging fathers. If me and my biological father have an issue, I said, it is my fault. I will never keep saying it is his fault. So that the devil does not take that part of me. Even when I know he made a mistake, I will say, it is my fault. I take the blame of father's challenge. I don't say I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm innocent. Vindicating yourself does not prove you to God that you are right. Blame yourself, even when they are the one that caused the problem. So I said, I'm at fault. Abel, you're at fault. Why is your father so angry? You're at fault. I tell myself the truth, even when it's not. That's the way to walk on your head. Romans chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Stop judging fathers. Stop judging fathers. You can only advise a father. You can never correct him. He say, eh, that you see that thing you did. Let me correct you. Eh? You're wrong. Don't try it. Peter rebuked Jesus in open public. And when it was time, there was a payback. Paul came back. Paul rebuked Peter in a wider place, in a more disgraceful way. So the thing you think is the truth in the eyes of God is a scam and a betrayer. It's called eye service. It's in the Bible. The Almighty Jesus, so Peter corrected him in public. He re Peter rebuked him. Who are you to rebuke Jesus? Jesus never argued with him. Come at two places. Paul disgraced Peter in a public place, in the place of reaction. And he corrected him publicly. You can never correct your father. You can only advise him. It's a privilege. You say what? It's a privilege. You don't correct him by standing. You correct him. You advise him by kneeling and say, my father, I feel, but if I am wrong, forgive me. This way would have been like this. 
But for you to do it this way, who am I? I will follow it, my father. You live long, Papa. Never say, I want to correct you. You see, Papa, if it's not that you are my spiritual father, I would have, I would have said it public. You are wrong. You can't correct your father. You can only advise him. Mm? You can only advise a father. Numbers chapter 16, verse 1 to 5. You go and read it so that you understand. Rebelling against a father has a negative consequences. You rebelling against your father have a what? Consequence. You're rebellion. Hey, I'm right. So I decided to be to, to go behind his back. Rebel. There is consequences for you. Never rebel against your father. Never. What are the things to know about honoring your father? What are the things to know? You must not insult them. Matthew 16 verse 22. No matter the school you went to on your own, no matter the lecturer, no matter the university, never you, never you insult him. Matthew 16 22. No matter the height of school you struggled and you went to, my friend, you can never, no one gave you the right. Matthew 16, 22. No matter who you are now, never you insult him. No school, no occultic power should make you insult your father. Matthew 16, Matthew 16, Then Peter took him. That's Jesus who. <laughs> then Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Peter, small Peter, who Jesus called into the kingdom, now dragged Jesus to rebuke him. <laughs> Say, he said, be it far from thee. Lord, this shall not be unto small Peter. That was where Peter rebuked Jesus. No matter how much you have known more than him, never let him know that you are not, you are knowledgeable than him. Be a fool in front of your father. So that when he speaks, you will understand and you have wisdom. Peter rebuked Jesus. He said, I cannot do it. But Peter did. You can't rebuke a father, but you can only advise them. A spiritual human that you rebuke, that did not reply you, does not mean you didn't carry cause. He didn't talk, does not mean you are not cause. Jesus never answered Peter. He was quiet. That does not mean Peter went free. Are you getting my point? Number two things to know about honoring the Father. You must not expose your nakedness to the public. Can you expose the, your father's nakedness, your own biological father? Can you snap his picture with his private part and put on the road? You can't do it. If you cannot do that to your biological father, you can't do that to your spiritual father. The difference, this one had sex to give birth to you. 
this one had connection with God to recreate you. You must not expose their nakedness to the public. Genesis 9, 27 to 27. Genesis 9, verse 20, 21 to 27. And that's the book of Noah. God used a drunk man. There is no way God can change his policy. God can decide to use a stupid man just to confirm the wise. Yes! Everyone have weakness, including you, self-righteous woman. You have weakness. Anyone, everyone on earth have weakness. We have weakness. And there are three major weakness. Number one is pride. Number two is women. And number three is what? Money. Everyone has pride, but we are controlling it. Everyone loves women. is to discipline yourself. Everyone loves money, but the, the root of all evil. For the love of money. No. So you can love money so much, it becomes a root of your problem. For the love you so much love money. Bible didn't say money is evil. Money can be evil. Because the Bible that also said money answered all things. Didn't say money is evil. The Bible said for the love of money is evil. Money is not evil until you love money so much it becomes evil. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So at your own space, you sat down and said, I don't catch this man of God in a knack. <laughs> you, you're a virgin. No, you're a virgin now. <laughs> we committed the same crime hiddenly. My own was exposed does not mean you are better than me. Just that God have to warn me by exposing mine does not mean he has left me. Hello? I can never sit down and judge another man. They are not my servant. The Bible says, let every man judge his servant. Is the man of God your servant? You must not expose them, no matter how their weakness have taken over them. Your biological father must have cheated with so many women. <laughs> but your pastor made a mistake. The whole social media tumbled upside down. He said, the pastor go knock by your master. Hey, 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 you laugh. He saw this pastor. That's why I don't believe them. Shut the hell up. He is called man. Flesh. He did say spirit. The Bible said man. We are bound to make mistakes. Man, that's flesh. Then what happened? Of God. That's to tell you. Flesh of God. The off is the mercy. Of God is the cover. He didn't say the spirit of God. He said the man, the flesh. I run away from men of God who haven't made any mistake. What do you want to teach me now? I go close to men of God who have made mistake. I go close to people who have scandal issue. I go to listen to them. 
You can never be with a man that is not wounded and you go far. Every wounded lion has killed so many elephants. So just don't sit down and say, nya, 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 nya. Hey, your future is brush. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Tell me, the women who expose men of God, we are they? Are they living better life? Never. They don't live. Expose the ones. You know this one is a killer. He kills people. That is okay. Go straight to police station and report him. That's authority. And we were dating before. But when we were dating, you know, he knocked me. You are not a baby. You're a small child. Eh? You didn't know before that such mistake might happen. You now took it upon yourself. You now say, eh, if he's a fake man, shut up. What made him fake? Because both of you knock. <laughs> both of you committed the sin together. It's the same place. It's the same sin. Both of you have committed together. So you who came to expose and you before who enjoyed it, <laughs> you, even, you reminded God for the sin again. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The things you expose, make sure you, you are more perfect. Because he was, God keeps you alive to see your children go through hell. And they will tell you, it's your father's foundation. That's your father's foundation. If those ones who have done you wrong and they are threatening you, it's a different ball game. Hello? It's a different ball game. But don't try to expose a man that you are owing or you refuse to pay. I said, look at what he said. Hey, that's not the bona fide point. Are you owe him? Pay him. Is anything you people agree? Agreement is agreement. When it gets to settlement, no nonsense. Follow it. You now come to public. I tell you, tell you look at what this one is getting. When people were making the secret vow, did you tell us? We are suffering today because of the wisdom we didn't have yesterday. In work does not make him a fake man of God. <laughs> In short, it was good you people knew early. Let's understand life. Life is not social media. Social media have nothing to do with life. Can you hear me now? TikTok. Can you hear me? The network is restored. Before you sit down, to abuse your father, to say your father was a poor man. Make sure you're a rich man before you say so. Because your own poverty will hit you left, right. Are you getting my point? Never sit down, cross your leg and say, oh, my father is a poor man. So you, what are you? A rich man? You're only abusing yourself because your father, you are the representative of your father. Hmm? Some things to know about your some things to know about honoring fathers. Number two, 
which I said, number two, you must not expose their nakedness. Everyone have weakness, eh? regardless of your fight eh? among them. Number three, not honoring them might lead to untimely death. Not honoring your fathers might lead to untimely death. Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3. Not honoring them eh? might lead, will lead surely to untimely death. The scripture cannot be broken. Eh? You can't judge your father. Mark 7, 10, you can't. Number four things to know about honoring your father. Dishonoring them can close your heaven. Proverbs 20, 20. Dishonoring your father will close your heaven. Dishonoring your fathers can close your heaven. With your whole school you went to, you are still not. An obedient illiterate will go far than an arrogant master degree holder. Eh? An obedient illiterate loving goes far more than an arrogant master degree holder. First class student. You have degree. You have no honor. You have no respect. You go anywhere. That's why God uses the illiterate. He uses nobody to make them somebody. God can't use you. That master degree. He will look for the useless ones you will condemn. That's the people he use. The chief cornerstones. In my family, everybody. Abel, 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 Abel. Morning, Abel. Afternoon, Abel. Mrs. Florence. Oh, Run, run to that place. They will kill your child. Oh, your Abel, Nede, yes, or do you know? Ten to me, me, Tamano. That woman so far do. <laughs> problem in the morning, problem in the afternoon, problem. As one who rushed, who caused my mother, she was rushed to the hospital. And she was giving, say, but your mother BP don't high. I say, what happened? Who won't kill up? I go kill the person. I go kill, what can I tell me the person? I go collect gun. I go shoot the person. <laughs> hey. A young man of God look at me and say, You are stupid. I say, What did this church man they tell me? He said, Ben, you are a very stupid son of this woman. I say, Mommy, don't see a moon. Mommy, he did not wait, did like that. They take drip. He did, Yahweh, this man, this church man, now they insult me. I need to take nonsense from church people. Who I could kill a moon. My mother didn't look at me. She just turned her face and looked the other side. The moment she did that, it dawned on me to know that she is tired. Consciously, I pretended like I was angry and I walked out of the hospital. And I went at the corner. Tears came out from my eyes. Praise God. So regardless of your what? Of your imperfection. Never you. So dishonoring them can close your door. Proverbs 2020. He said nothing happened for this generation. Fine boy, we love Jesus. <laughs> Fine girl, we love Jesus. You will suffer. Huh? He said, in a new generation. No, he said, I sing that song. Fine boy, we love G. Fine boy. We didn't. <laughs> Fine boy, we didn't knock, knock around. Huh? Fine girl, we did find money. <laughs> if you give me, I give you. God, no go verse. And you not sing. They not give you one good song. As an excuse to continue stupidity. Let me say, Find my way, well, Jesus. Hey, but you are so disrespectful. Mm. 
never you. Never you dishonor a man and go to a house and be singing worship. Glory to God in the highest. You are deceiving yourself. That's threat. You are using to shout glory. Go and apologize. Some of you can't marry because you refuse to say sorry. Some of you can't marry. Some women, some ladies, you can't marry until you say sorry. Some of you can't marry. You. Pray, do fasting, lie, lie. You know why? You refuse to say sorry when you had the opportunity. You refuse to say, how can I say sorry? Does it look like I'm at fault? You are not at fault. Go, bye-bye. <laughs> you are still saying go. As a lady, never you look at yourself and say you know too much to take this nonsense. I'm walking away from you. No, you know nothing. You know nothing. You see, I've watched you all this while. I don't think this relationship will work. You know why? Because the way you are doing things, I don't like it. And I'm walking away. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Not everyone you can walk out from like that. Never. You, it's a lie. You know why? People sacrifice to you, for you, and with you. You can't walk out like that, my sister. The next man you will love so much will walk out from you. Every day we see karma, we can't learn. Every day we are seeing the same mistake we make, we can't learn. There is nothing like, I am right. Well, he did me dirty, so I walked out from his ass. Thank you. <laughs> That's how people will be walking out. You'll be shocking. Because you walked out from a man that would have been of help to you. A man paid your rent, bought you TV, put ties in the house. Make sure you didn't lack anything. He made a mistake. And you walked out because you felt you have gotten what you wanted from him. Auntie, the next rent will come. The next rent, who will pay it? You can even follow a man that can pay it times two. The moment it's time for house rent, both of you breaks up. I've seen ladies turn worse. A man suffers for you. A woman suffers for you, and because you saw another one, you say, Now, that my idea, this one, this one, and this one, big eye. You're not comfortable. You now walked away. You didn't walk away. They must not open their mouth to talk to you. Karma will turn it. Sometimes you see your children struggle to get favor because when you were young, you took advantage of people's favor towards you. Your children now suffers it. You didn't know the sins of the father affects the children? Whatever you are doing in the name of smartness as a woman, there is consequences tomorrow. Are you understand what I'm saying? Be an independent woman to a man. Do your thing so that the day you walk away, you will have nothing to blame yourself for. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can't walk away from any man just like that. You can't walk away from a woman just like that. Mostly to the women who walks away from men who have spiritual wife, you are not well. They will frustrate your life. You might marry and say, oh, I left that idiot and this man married me. And the, the one you call idiot will not cry. Maybe he didn't hear it. Inside the marriage, the new one, the new angel will be blowing you. All your eyes will be big. <laughs> the thing we do today looks common. 
He said, I'm just smart. You won't be smart tomorrow. Karma will hit you with big truck. A mouse suffers for you. You think you can walk away? Instead of you to say, how do I grow? My honey, you talk. Oh, they complain too much. Or oh, you yeah, teach me. Simple. Or you use your hand to pray. Father, let, it, let him use his hand and go. If this man is not your will. If he uses his hand and walk away, it's a different ball game. But you, you walked away after he has not cared for you. He has not helped you. Mostly he helped your mother, helped your brother, helped your sister. You are not seeing him as a nuisance. <laughs> Come and marry. <laughs> eh? Go and marry now. You think life is about you, breast and yash. Sit up, oh, young lady, sit up. My degree, I got a degree, I'm going to apply for a job. What is the job they are applying? This day job, until you want to get work. Oh, yeah, let's go to the hotel, come weekend. That's what is happening. The same generation will tell you, come. They want to sleep with you before giving you a job. But the man you are dating, that both of you have suffered together, you walked away, so you met the devil. Please. Number five things to know about honoring father. Avoid rebellion. Avoid what? Rebellion with spiritual fathers. Don't rebel against it. The Bible says there is always a way to make things happen. If the man of God says, if you don't sleep with me, I will deal with you. No, that one is wrong. He can't do anything. Except his powers are not from God. Then he can deal with you. His powers too can be from God. And he can speak by midnight. The devil will rush and answer him quickly. <laughs> so be careful how you eat the money. And want to come out to expose them. You eat the money so you are part of the sin. You don't need to have the sex. Before you want to run to expose, no. Eating the money is the process. Are you getting me? There are the ones that are genuine. You run away, they can speak, it will follow you. So the best way is for you not to even eat the money at all. It's for you to speak with respect. It's for you to speak with honor. It's for you to encourage him. I said, this thing is difficult. Don't play smart and run. You can't be, you can't be smarter than spirituality. Hmm? Avoid rebellion was spirit. Second Samuel chapter 15, verse 1. Miriam was cursed because Miriam was trying to correct Moses by telling God. God cursed Miriam. You see, most of you doing breakaway ministry, people who carried you, people who helped you, eh? people who helped you, or you could pay them back is to break away to start your own business. You know, it will grow from the starting. The devil will deceive you. You see people coming for the thing. People will fool your church. But at the end, you will see them leave. It might take 10 years. You will think you're still on the right track. But surely, you shall come back. Break away is a rebellious spirit. Because of big eye, they employed you. You have seen money is coming. You say, let me go and start my own business. You packed all your madam, all your ogre customers in your own business. You say, I'm smart. You are not smart. You're only a fool. <laughs> You're only a fool. It's just a matter of time. Years, months, weeks, days. You will also bear the consequences. Never you walk away from someone who put their hope in you. For you to walk away, they must bless you. And if you must walk away, you must not start your own close to them. You must go far 
and make sure none of their members or none of their customers are yours. That's the only way you can be free. But you smart generation, I got to start my own. How long will I keep working for my madam? Oh, that woman is stingy. She doesn't pay me well, so I have to start up my own business. But not too far, like two streets ahead. And, uh, you know, oh, man, mango chopo. Make we smart. We're not start to eat gun. I shall. We're not really going to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm the one. I'm in church now. I got my own. When did Kama Sama come? <laughs> what have I done? My father, people want to kill me. <laughs> you will learn your lesson. Now, the never leave you. Now, Mumu know too much. At the end, now you be the Mumu man. You must learn the hard way. <laughs> uh, I know you are suffering. But well, it's just the beginning. <laughs> uh, no prayer can save you. You will swim in it. Those consequences, try. Why lie? Why lie to lie? You will swim in it. Eh? Someone's husband trained you in school. Someone's husband trained you in school. And you walked away from me. I said, Oh, he, oh my God, oh my God. I didn't know I was committing adultery. You are now a master degree holder. Another man trained you. After graduation, you remembered that you were not doing the right thing. <laughs> and you walk away. He said, like, you, you can't walk away like that. You will bear the consequences. It's for you to make your confession right. Oh my God. You now walk away and you marry. And you now understood that your husband is training another woman in school. And you are getting angry. He said, no, I will never be alive. You are training on another woman. Hey. Of course now. Work in progress. They trained you. Another woman's husband trained you in school. You do. Allow, another, allow your husband train another person. Good. Do good. And good shall come. Is it not so? Let the education continue. Let the education continue. Ora, 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 bira. You want to stop it? My friend, let it, let it continue. Education must go ahead. And that's why married men make single ladies more prosperous than the government. Single ladies are very rich. They're empowered by married men. They empower single ladies more than the government. And when it gets to your own turn, you say, no, no, man. How can he train a girl in school? I have children. He has not trained them. I mean, I want to go further. I want to do my PhD. Not, my friend, keep quiet. Let the education form. The committee must continue. As they train you in school too, let your husband train another person. Hmm? Don't leave a place that you cannot go back. Always leave a place where you can always go back to greet them. That is, it's not been good. I have to come back home. How do I do it? He will not say, you know, when you're with me two years ago, we were shaking. So I have to do like this, do like this, do like this, do like this. Go. God is with you. But if you run away by crook, will you come back? You won't. So never walk away from where you can come back. Hmm? God does not reward those who rebel against their masters. God, there is no mercy. You will bear it. 
Hmm? Rebelling against your spiritual head to start your own church, to start your own business. No matter the years, no matter the time, you will suffer it, including your children. Check that's in the book of Numbers 16, verse 1 to 5. Number 24, verse 27. With time, you will just fade away. With time, you will fade. I know a man who is fading away now. The other one who walked out from the other one, he's shining now. God said he has five years left. The other one who left over 20 years, he's fading. No matter how spiritual you become, never, you will still fade. Hmm? Number 16 is to know about spiritual father. Avoid being too familiar with your spiritual father. Never you be familiar. Lucifer took God for granted because of his what access to God. And when God kicked him out, God went in back to his shells. Who knows by now? Who would have been seeing God? But Lucifer took God for granted. Stop a life familiar spirit. Peter had access to Jesus so much. Hmm? Matthew 16, verse 22. He took him for granted, according to the scripture. Then in the book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 11 and 14, Paul now rebuked Peter. <laughs> Peter was in existence before Paul. But Paul came, rebuked Peter, even went ahead of Peter. But before, in the other scripture, Peter rebuked Jesus. Because they were too familiar. Be careful how you rebuke people. What you sow, you reap. Number 17 is to know about fathers. Constantly honor them. Don't honor them today and dishonor them tomorrow. It's a consistency. Hmm? Constantly honor them with material things. I'm doing it too. Make it your duty to honor your parents. Your spiritual father. It is a lifestyle. Eh? It is a lifestyle. You sow to your father. And your father will bless you. Because you can't bless your father. <laughs> no child can be a blessing to their father. The father will only be a blessing to you. Then you come back with the manifestation of the blessing. Can you take money to your father and lay your hand on his head? Is that possible? He remains him that will bless you. You go and make manifest and you bring it back. Of the blessing. You can't bless him. You get my point? Hmm? You sow to your father. Your father can't sow to you. Hmm? You must honor your parents while they are alive, not when they are dead. I would have done it. Hey, keep that your ugly face that is worse than mine. And honor them now. They are alive. If not that boy, if it wasn't that boy, I would have paid my mother hospital be Because of man, man. Man, man, man. You know, pay your mother also to be she die. Now, when the relationship is no more, hey, 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 da. let the finger you bite pay you. Eh? Do it now, they are alive. What are the benefits of honoring fathers? We close. What are the benefits of honoring fathers? Number one, you become a carrier of the blessings. You become the carrier of the blessings. You just become the carrier. <laughs> I honor my father. 
carried it. I said, hey, you are blessed. The testimony comes. <laughs> you don't honor. That's why you fast and pray. Pray and fast. 10 hours, 12 hours. It's not working. Go and honor your father. Go and honor your Go and honor your spiritual father. Number two. That number one, you become a carrier of the blessings. That's in the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 25 to 29. Number two, enjoy long life. The benefit of honoring fathers, you enjoy long life. Ephesians 6, verse 3. You enjoy what? You enjoy long life. <sighs> Hedrick to me, I say, my friend, I give money to my father. I honor him. Hedrick, shut up. I don't say any Hedrick go. I say, shut up. You enjoy what? Long life. Ephesians 6 3. Number three, people will serve you. Genesis 27, verse 29. The benefit of honoring your father is that others, people, will serve you. You just don't know. Everybody surrounding you, serving you, cleaning your shoe, fetching water. I have people in my house who are serving me. Free, no salary. Because they, they are seeing me honoring the father. They have no choice. I didn't force them. Hmm? People will serve you. Number four, you attract favor. Genesis 27, verse 29. You attract favor. When you honor, the benefit of honoring the Father is that you attract favor. Favor just come from all manners. Hmm? Favor just come. Boom! You attract what? Favor. Number five. This will go well with you. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2 and 3. This will go well with you. This will do what? This will go well with you. When you honor... Hmm? When you honor... Are you understanding what I'm saying? When you don't honor people or your fathers, number one, death comes. When you don't honor fathers, you gossip them, talk, 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 talk. All those things you say will be a different word against you. If you are single, you remain single. If you are married, you see how people will talk your marriage and talk you out of your marriage. If you don't honor, others will not honor you. You just get hated by others. So this day, lift up your hand and say, I have a new life. Father, have mercy upon me. I will honor you from today. I will never abuse our fathers in faith. I will never curse them nor insult them. Lord, anywhere I have gone wrong, forgive me. Lift up your hands. Begin to make that declaration. Make that declaration. Father, have mercy. Have I mistakenly insulted my father? Forgive me. Consciously or unconsciously, I did it. Forgive me. Ask God for his mercy. Ask him for his mercy. 
Say, Father, forgive me. Forgive me. Have you done that? Glory to God. I stand as a father figure today. And I decree that every word spoken against you due to your mistakes of the past. The Bible said, all things have passed away, everything is new. That as you renew your mind that God has forgiven you, this day, those things you used to see will never come back again in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the voices of remembrance, of words that will keep you down. From today, I stand as a father figure, which I know I am. I command you to rise from the spirit realm where you have been dumped. Continue the journey to your place of destiny. Is there anyone that have been jobless because of how they embarrass people, they insult people? Today, God's mercy will give you a job. Is there anyone that the anointing cannot carry? Or you cannot carry the anointing. From today, let the Holy Spirit envelop you to become so anointed more than ever in the name of Jesus. Is there any one of you who walked away from a man that have helped you from his heart? And you said, I don't take nonsense. And you didn't know those things you said is not following you. By the renewing of your mind, knowing that God has taken it away, you are restored. You are restored in the name of Jesus. It is settled. It is settled. Anyone here, they said you are cursed, I came to tell you, you are blessed. With the new covenant of Jesus Christ, by his blood, by his stripes, we are here. Today, that thing has caused you health issues. Go home. You are here. I saw someone with a neck problem. God just healed you right now in the name of Jesus. Migraine headache is gone. Stomach pain gone. Chest ache gone. You can't walk well. You're healed. Your child can't talk. That child begins to talk now in the name of Jesus. As you go back for tests, that positive result becomes negative in the name of Jesus. I decree you bless. I decree you what? Bless. Nation shall call you blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's topic was short. Is it long? Short and simple. You understood? Did you enjoy the service? Let me see your hand. You enjoyed the service? You did? Your head. Glory to God. Without wasting your time. Without wasting your time. Without wasting your time. I came to pray for you all. This is a Father's blessing. He said, it will give you long life and prosperity. After this message, take the account number of your biological father first. Excuse me. Take the account number of your biological father. Second, take the biology, your spiritual father's account. After this service, sow into a father's life. A spiritual father or a physical biological father. After this program, Whatever you have, sow it as a seed to a spiritual man that you believe. You must send it to a spiritual man that you believe so much. 
Honor is not posting someone on Facebook. All the people you saw me there that I posted, I honored them with the small change I have. So don't sell it. You see why I don't put men of God birthday pictures? It's not by posting pictures. <laughs> Behind the media, I have a relationship. So I better go physically and honor them with my substance than posting it on Facebook and I don't get blessed. Me who goes behind the scene to give them my appreciation seat. I'm more blessed than you who post them on Facebook. Now they have left you behind. <laughs> Will God leave me who went to sow seed to him and give you the blessings because you posted him on Facebook? Did they tell you he was missing? Was he missing? <laughs> Go and honor him physically. If your father, your biological father is late, give your spiritual father. If your father is alive, give to your physical father and give to your spiritual father. The fathers are the same. But your spiritual father have an upper hand. And let me make something clear for you. It is, it is stupidity to take your first fruit to your biological father. Your honor for your first fruit to your biological father is every day, every month upkeep, not first fruit. Your first fruit goes to the man of God that covers you spiritually. Then your biological father is a monthly upkeep. Are you getting what I'm saying? So do the monthly upkeep for your biological father. And do the prophetic, the father, spiritual father, honor your spiritual father with also a seed. What if you don't have to sow? If you don't have to sow, look for what to use. Look for what to sow. If you are looking for a woman, you look for what to borrow. To impress her. If you're a man, a woman, you want to impress your, your fiancé, you guess, you ladies look for how to do it. So ask that you do it. Are you getting my point? That's it. Look for what to sow. Don't say what if you don't have anything. It's a lie. How did you have data? Somebody dash you the data. If they dash you, you share. Somebody say my account number on TikTok. I'm a father too. After all, a young man like me who is training 15 persons in the university all in the name of foundation. Huh? I'm a father. I'm a father. So I deserve to chop the money. He said, he said no waste time. Anything you see, you tiff it. I have a biological father. I'm training 15 people I don't know, Adam and Eve. True foundation. So, am I not a father? I'm a father. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a father. If your biological father is dead, give it to your spiritual father. Every Christian without a spiritual guidance, a Mr. or Mrs., you are on your way to fail. Because some of you who have relationship that cannot introduce your fiancé to your father in the Lord or you introduce your male fiancé to your own father. You people are wasting your time. Genuine love. Introduce them. So that when they call, you say, hey, you are misbehaving. Come on, sit up. You will sit up. Because someone must have control over you. Any man you meet and that, do, that man does not have any control over him, you as a woman, it will be difficult for you to marry him. Walk away. Every man must have a control. Osas, on Facebook, I've already pinned it there. I've already pinned it, so it's just for them to press that C more. They will see the account. Just put it on TikTok. Any man that does not have a control over his head 
is not a good person to marry. The best way to know that this one, you can't marry him, he doesn't have a spiritual father. If you say, who is your guidance? Your father is dead, so sir, who is your guidance as a man? He doesn't have, walk away. <laughs> because there is nobody you will report his mistakes to. Huh? If you don't have a spiritual father, look for a church and sow your seed because he's a man. He's God's altar. Uh, okay. Brenda said, Sir, not my husband. No. He does not listen to pastors. He is always right. Oh, I already have three children. You saw it in the relationship. You didn't act. That man is a dangerous man. He can kill you. A man that does not listen to anybody can kill you. No matter how I'm so strict, I'm very hard. There's someone I listen to. Your spiritual father can be very short. <laughs> there is no age. You can be older than your spiritual father, but you are not older than them in the place of your spirituality. It, it, how can I take this man that is small like this? How old is he? He's, he's 25 years. And that be his son. For what? Who does that? And that's why you are old. You are still not having it. Every woman must have authority over him. So that when you talk and talk and talk and talk, she refused to listen. You just go and meet her mentor. And say, Mommy or Daddy, your daughter not going to kill me. Look at what I've done. Look at what caused the problem. He will call both of you and talk to you. But when your spouse has no authority in that marriage, you are finished. Even when he's cheating, he will tell you he's right. Because he has no cover. You might be right. Someone said everyone have who they listen to. If your husband stopped listening to you and he doesn't have a spiritual father, there is a side chick he's listening to. <laughs> eh? There is a side chick he listens to. If a man says, I can't listen to you, he's not listening. A, he listens to one small girl. In short, the girl, when he's going to the girl's house and there is bad, bad route, you look, he will park his car very far. <laughs> and trek to that place. He will park his car very far. That's a professional cheating man. And he will trek to that small girl's house. Man, he did go trust man. Man, man. <laughs> Ain't go back for a year. Walk for like 500 meters to see you. So that you that is monitoring him, when you trek, 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 you will stop and you will go back. That house they rented for the gate, they will trek to that place. Are you understanding me? And that small girl will touch your husband by head. Even you as a wife, you can't touch your husband by head like that. He will react. But the small girl will say, fine man, you don't come. Hey, how are you? This is your head, eh? Your head is strong, oh, coconut head. If not beside, I love you, I for, I for, I for, I for break her for you. You know, say, no break her, move my love. You as a wife, try it. They, you will go back to your father's house. And you touch my hair? I buy it so you don't have respect, you will go. <laughs> and the worst human being is that they don't listen. Brenda, God will help you. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, 
Let no a good spouse is one who listens to you. If they don't reply, it does not mean they didn't read it. Not every reply should have reply. Huh? Not re or not all reply have reply. He read it, he kept quiet. There's a reason it has hit him. <laughs> so he kept quiet. Don't tell him, won't you answer me? No, he will answer you. It's just a matter of few days. He will understand what you are saying. You are dating a man. He doesn't listen to you. You, you know, you are stubborn as a woman. But the man should have a soft spot sometimes. As I am, I can easily walk away from someone that does not listen. Because the Bible said, the ears that does not listen can cause a nation a problem. So, kill everybody. But so, decide to go and carry the wife. <laughs> Turn her to side chick. Sorry, the king. Carry out fat animals. A disobedient woman can destroy a country. A dis disobedient man can scatter a continent. Stop engaging yourself with disobedient spouse. Stop this thing. I don't like it. Stop it. It There's nothing like love. It's stupidity. Disobedient is disobedient. There's nothing like, you know, I love you, so I don't know when I do it. Nonsense. Is it when it kills me, you rest? So you're not going to marry another person. <laughs> this thing, don't do this. I don't like it. You say, no, I'm going to do it. If that thing kills him, you will not go and marry on that man. You are the most wicked woman on earth. A man tells you, this thing, I don't like it. Stop it as a woman. You want to keep doing it. When he takes his action, he says, he never loved me. Do they love stubborn people? Yes. Will you die being with stubborn person? No. There is always a time for everything. Be wise. Don't wait until you are 30 years, 35. That's when you start listening to men. The life have nothing to offer in this generation. Before you know you are 30, before you know you are 35, before you know you've not achieved anything. Because social media is your mentor. Social media is your spiritual father. One gullible man on social media who have no record, who have no clean sheet, who have no integrity is your mentor. How can it work for you? A man who is not spiritual is teaching you the things of God. Will you succeed? Hmm? I'm here. Papa David never come. He says, this is how they preach. This is how they preach. This is how they preach. He only prayed once. Sometimes he listens to me. He said, Ben, you think... <laughs> you laugh at me too. You think me, I don't listen to you, I write. I just done what you used to say. He showed me the book. He showed me the book yesterday. He says, <laughs> from your last message, was it not this thing you spoke? And he wrote about 20 things. He shook me. I went on my knees and I was crying. Humility. You think pride is all. Get out. Humility is life. Humility. That man of that great listen to small what I create like small boy like me. I said she said, Oh, glory to God. Glory we are. On Sunday, I went on my knees. I was crying. And another man told me, hey, but you see, record your message, send it to me, let me hear you teach. I wanted to record it. God said, you'll be so stupid for you to prove that you can teach. You don't teach. I am the one teaching through you. So there is nothing you can prove to people that you can teach well. My son, be where you are. If a man wants to honor you, he will honor you without stress. I told the man, sir, with good respect, I don't need you. You don't need it. 
I should bring evidence in God's work when we know it's by grace. I should record it and come and give to you. I try to put revelation God did give to me. Ah, that's not how it is. He said, bring it. God said, if you try it, stop forcing people to believe you. If you can, my friend, don't walk, run away from my life. Run away. Don't make people make you feel inferior. So, Before I was looking for validation. I, I'm not looking for validation. Do anybody need to tell me now I'm, I'm not serving God? If you don't believe, that's your problem. That's your social study. That's your economy. To me, I know I'm serving. And he calls me my son. Stop looking for validation. Uh, I don't want to shout. I don't want to shout. They know you love me as a mentor. <laughs> or you are taking me as a father. We have already accepted you as a son or daughter since even before you were born. And you said, oh, I want to be a blessing now to this man of God as a father's seed. <laughs> Carry pen. Write the account number so that you will, you will, you will, you will, you will send it. What do you mean? Hmm? Carry your pen or get off your phone so that you transfer the money. <laughs> we call it seed of honor. Eh? <laughs> you say, don't let me shout so that people will know you. Yeah. Hmm. Eh, don't shout. Eh, I don't want to shout. Don't. Eh. Carry your pain, carry your pain. Too quick, too quick. Too quick before the pain will stop working. Okay. Have you carried it? Oh, yeah, right. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Right now. Nah, too quick. Zero, zero. Uh -huh. Seven, seven. Five, three, four. Zero, one, eight. I should call it again. Right, right, quick. I should call it there. Zero 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 seven seven five three four zero one eight access bank access bank don't shout so that people will know here yeah. don't shout don't shout just collect it oh yes transfer access bank eh, just put it <laughs> don't let people hear just don't shout And don't shout. Let people don't hear. Don't send it. That is seed of honor. How do you give from Kenya? You go to Access Bank there. Yeah. How can you send from US? You can send from Zelle account, Pay, PayPal, Cash App. You can also send from Weave, anyone. Yeah. You inbox or SAS will give it to you. So that's it. Glory to God. So we start from 10 and today we close up. Humility is life. Father, we thank you for your people this day. I magnify your name. Thank you for being a blessing unto your people. Thank you for blessing them. Is there anyone who will take this word serious to bless their biological father, to honor him? Father, that man will stay alive, that woman will stay alive to see what they will become great in life. Is there anyone who will say, oh, man of God, Abel, prophet Abel, you are God sent. Let me also support you. You will never lack that kind of amount again in your life in the name of Jesus. You can't be broke. God will always find a way where there seems to be no way. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is settled. It is settled. 
Okay, today I cannot do video call. There's no video call I can do, so but huh? I can't do video call. He said, Man of God, I want to take this seed. He said, Take as a father's seed. I believe in you. So it. If you have a father in the Lord, do it. Hmm? If you don't have, look for one church. Do it. There is a young lady listening to me in America. I don't know who you are, but the Lord is saying a young black lady. I think, I can't really tell, but you are really advanced. Your skin is covering things. God has been telling you, go to Africa. You are ignoring it. Say, no. No. God is telling you, go to Africa. This is where your parents belong. I don't know who I'm talking to. God is saying, go to Africa. In the nearest future, that things will happen. You would want to run back for rest to go back to the U.S. Where you are is not the final say. Find your route. That's what the Lord is talking to someone that is listening to me right now. Go to Africa and know your route. As mature as you are, your foundation can never let you marry. That's why they decide for you. That's why they hold you with so much knowledge. You think it's from God. <laughs> eh? It's not from God. Even Lucifer gives knowledge. Praise God. Are you understanding me? So, God will bless you for listening. In the name of Jesus. God said, don't stay, but I'm going to pray for a few people. There are two people I'm seeing the spirit of death. Glory to God. The Lord is talking to me on someone on Facebook. I'm seeing something that looks like Amy Kinsley. I'm seeing someone that looks like Dorothy. Dorothy is something like Dorothy, Dorothy something like Mark Elion or Mark Ekom or Mark Elion or Elion, Mark Elion, MC Elion. But your name is Dorothy. Every death that is hitting you unexpectedly this month of June, I stand as God's servant, God's son, and the father, and I decree Dorothy, you will not die. Mark Aaron or Mark Elon. Hmm? You will not die in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Eh? In the life of Amy Kinsley, you will not die in the name of Jesus. And I decree to a woman who is here, your name is Abigail. Your name is Abigail. I pray for your husband. Hmm? This Abigail, one last name is about Esau, I-S-O. I decree for your husband not to go down in the name of Jesus. And someone listening to me on, on, on TikTok, your name is Joy. You are Joy. Your profile picture, you're wearing white inside, pink as a jacket because you love jackets. Anything they have scrubbed away from your hands, from the blessings of God. God will restore it in the name of Jesus. God will restore it in the name of Jesus. Hmm? God will restore it in Jesus' name. Amen. So.